Uh, half a day, good afternoon, everyone. Today we are gathered to present resolution number 335-36-LS, which is relative to recognizing and observing the month of May as National Bike Month and Bicycle Safety Month, and to raise awareness and highlight the importance of putting safety first when traveling on Guam's roadways for motorists and cyclists alike. Since the start of the pandemic, our island has, been, has seen a substantial growth in the bicycle community, and because of this, we want to show how important safety is to all of us. This resolution is presented in anticipation of May being National Bike Month and Bicycle Safety Month to coincide with the League of American Bicyclists annual celebration and the National Highway Tra Traffic Safety Administration. The resolution aims to highlight the joy and benefits of riding a bicycle and ensure that safety shall always be our top priority as we continue to move forward in improving our island's bicycle infrastructure. With that being said, I'd like to present this resolution to the Department of Public Works, the Guam Cycling Federation, who both continue to work tire tire tirelessly and diligently in ensuring that our island is a safe place for both motor motorists and cyclists alike. All right, so this is, um, this is our first time we're ever recognizing on Guam National Bike Month, so I'd like to thank Guam Cycling Federation leaders coming and also Director Ariola for his key role in uh, ensuring that we get our bike lanes painted. Uh, he's working very hard. I've seen the roads improving as we go forward and he's going to make this happen. And so we'd like to present this to you. And we also like to offer you the opportunity to speak a little bit about bike safety and the Guam Cycling Federation. Okay. Um, thank you, Senator, for uh, this resolution and recognizing um, something, a sport that we, um, well, it's very dear to our hearts that we've been, you know, we're very passionate about it. Um, my colleagues here from the Guam Cycling Federation, and we do appreciate um, last year when we started meeting, we, I expressed to you my thanks uh, for recognizing us um, and, and considering our safety on the roadways and initiating the collaboration between our federation and the Department of Public Works. And so, um, Vince, thank you so much for, for also, you know, being a, a receptive um, ear for us and for, our prob for the problems that we face because we all just want to ride our bike in safety. Uh, to enjoy the island, to make sure that we are exercising and having, um, you know, healthy activities. And so uh, this really does mean a lot to us. So thank you so much. We'll continue to work with, uh, with you and with everybody else that has the same interest in mind in creating bicycle safety for uh, the cyclists on Guam. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Tainigo. Do you guys want to say something? Vanessa, sure. sure. All right. Yeah. I just want to really express our, our heartfelt thanks um, yeah. to the senator for allowing this, you know, for having the initiative to bring this locally. Um, National Bike Month has always been something recognized by the U.S. in the month of May, but definitely a first time for Guam. So thank you so much for, you know, um, taking the initiative, the lead on this, and making this happen for our island cyclists. Thank you. Yeah. Well, we're very happy and excited to do it. And Director Ariola, this is for you, for all the, your tireless efforts. I just want to share that Director Ariola um, really invested a lot of his time uh, into building a plan, and we haven't seen anyone build a plan like that before ever. So we thank you for that. It was always talked about. It was probably like 10 or 20 years old, the plan, and you improved it. So we thank you for that, and we thank you for also having community meetings with the cyclists um, to understand their needs and the priorities of what roads we want to, they wanted to develop. So thank you for all your work, but we'd like to you see some welcome. things. Thank, thank you very much, uh, Senator, and to the individuals from the cycling uh, community here in Guam. We're, we're very pleased to be a part of this. Uh, on behalf of the governor, lieutenant governor, uh, they're, they're also committed to making this happen uh, for not just for our cyclists, but uh, for the community in general. And, uh, you know, our focus is always going to be on safety for, for the cyclists and for the motorists. And, and we'll, we'll continue to make sure that the roads are safe, they're, they're paved smoothly, they're striped right appropriately, and, uh, you know, happy biking to everybody. Well, glad to be a, a huge part of this. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. Okay. Does anyone else want to say something?
Jen, you want to say anything? No? <laughs> All right, okay. Uh, that concludes our resolution presentation. We li we'd like to remind everyone to be safe out there. Uh, give proper distance when you see a cyclist on the road. Better just go into the next lane um, and, uh, you know, give them a wave. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much and have a good day. God bless. Happy Easter. Thank you.